Your heart is a pump which powers your body. The pumping action moves blood around your body through a network of blood vessels supplying essential fuel in the form of oxygen and nutrients to every cell, nerve, muscle and vital organ throughout your body, allowing you to function and do all the things you do in everyday life. Your heart sits in the center of your chest between your lungs and is protected by your ribcage. It is about the size of your clenched fist. The outer walls of your heart are mostly made of powerful muscle which squeezes and relaxes the pump blood around your body. Your heart pumping rates changes to meet the fuel needs of your body. The pumping rate speeds up when you are excited, exercise or even drink a strong cup of coffee. When you are relaxed and resting, your heart rate is slower. The muscular walls of your heart surround four heart chambers or rooms. The two upper chambers or rooms are called the left and right atrium and the two lower chambers or rooms are called the left and right ventricles. The left and right atria are like the blood entrance rooms of the heart. The left and right ventricles are the blood exit rooms. Blood travels through a network of blood vessels between the heart and lungs and the rest of the body in a figure of eight pattern supplying fuel in the way of oxygen and nutrients as it goes. Blood, largely empty of its oxygen fuel cargo, enters the right atrium through a blood vessel called the inferior and superior vena cava. The blood then passes into the right ventricle. The right ventricle squeezes the blood into the lungs through the pulmonary artery. The blood picks up a new supply of oxygen in the lungs. It is then pumped back to the heart through the pulmonary veins and enters the left atrium. From the left atrium, it passes into the left ventricle. The left ventricle has a thick, strong muscular wall as it needs to squeeze with force to pump blood out to the rest of the body through the aorta. Heart valves ensure one-way blood flow. Valves lie at the exit of each chamber of the heart. These valves act like gates which open and close to ensure that blood travels in one direction only, a bit like a one-way traffic system. Flow of blood through the heart doesn't happen automatically. Your heart has its own electrical conduction system which triggers its pumping action. Being the hard-working muscle that it is, your heart requires a good fuel supply too. It gets the oxygen and nutrients it needs through its own blood vessel network called the coronary arteries. The two main coronary arteries, the right and left, branch off from the aorta. They in turn branch off into smaller arteries which supply oxygen-rich blood to all parts of the heart's muscle wall. The right coronary artery supplies the right side of the heart and the left coronary artery supplies the left side of the heart. Together the heart with its muscular walls, chambers, heart valves, electrical conduction system and a network of blood vessels enable blood to be pumped around the body effectively. Your heart is the powerhouse of your body. Look after it. It's never too late to make lifestyle changes to keep your heart and blood vessels in good working order so that you can do the things in your life that are important to you both now and in the future.